Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 10th of 2019. Well, it is titled mid air meteor and Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, looking out the window of a plane, we do see, of course, the wing of the plane there towards the bottom. And just above that, we can see our Milky Way, our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And here we see the star clouds and dark dust clouds associated with the plane of the Milky Way. Now when we look out at the sky, every star we see is part of the Milky Way. The stars that we see all over the sky uh, tend to be the stars that are closer to us. But when we look off in the distance, uh, much further distance, our center of our galaxy is many tens of thousands of light years away. And in fact, our whole galaxy is 100,000 light years or so across. Then we just see the great uh, brightness of all of those stars put together but not see the individual stars themselves. Now the photographer taking the image of the Milky Way happened to get a surprise in one of their images. And that was the meteor that happened to occur here. So you can see the meteor uh, that occurs uh, streaking through the sky. Now a meteor is not something you can directly plan to uh, photograph because they're not able to be predicted. We can certainly say when a meteor shower will occur but to say one when one will occur in any specific location is not something that you can do. A meteor really is just a little bit of a comet, a little piece of a dust, a little piece of ice that burns up in the Earth's atmosphere when it strikes it. And it strikes the Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds, many tens of thousands of miles per hour, and then heats up and glows and dissipates within the upper atmosphere. So meteors and shooting st as shooting stars never make it down to the ground, but we do see them glowing as we do in the image here today. And in fact, we see it also reflected off of the airplane. And we can see a reflection of it off of the airplane window as a parallel to the original meteor. So it's just the one meteor there. Even though it looks like it's two streaks, it's really just one. The other is just a reflection from the uh, window. Now the other that we other thing that we can see here is the planet Jupiter and it's kind of hiding down towards the bottom here. And that is of course the largest planet in our solar system. And we see it just off the tip of the wing near one of the lights there. So the green light is part of the wing and just above and to the left of that the brighter star like object is really the planet Jupiter. So the greatest the largest planet in our solar system. Uh, that we see here. So within this one image, we get to see a number of different things, including the meteor, um, or sorry, starting with the airplane here, with uh, lower down in the atmosphere, the meteor occurring up higher in the atmosphere, Jupiter out within our solar system, and then the stars in the plane of our Milky Way galaxy well off in the distance. So that was our picture of the day for October the 10th of 2019. It was titled mid air meteor and Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.